Hey everybody and welcome to episode 7 of the Disventure Camp interview series. My name is Silly Billy, but you can call me Billy. If you only just stumbled onto this series right now and are confused about this part 7 bit, uh, in this interview series we are meeting with a lot of awesome cast and crew members for the Disventure Camp team. For example, last episode we had the show writers themselves, Jared and Robert. Check out the description if you're interested in that. Anyway, that was then and this is now. Another episode down and with that, it comes the unfortunate ending of the dance supremacy. <laughs> but hey, at least that means we finally get to talk to the wonderful man behind the voice. So please, give a very warm welcome to dance voice actor Genesis. Genesis, welcome to the show. Hello everybody, I have successfully infiltrated Silly Billy's channel. I am now the new king of all ducks. Everybody bow down before me. <laughs> and we can hear you yes yes you can yes. hear me thank god okay all right well okay i'll introduce myself proper hello everyone my name is genesis 9876 but you can call me jenny or jen or genesis it really does not matter to me and i am the voice behind the purple man himself the man behind the slaughter dan <laughs> <laughs> This is getting into all sorts of confusing lore here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Purple Man is not actually the only person joining us here, because despite there not being a second eliminated contestant tonight, that is not stopping us from having another amazing guest on tonight. He voices the secret sidekick with the shadowy sub story. Please extend your warm welcome to the voice behind Jensen, LJ. LJ, welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for having me. I, I am so, so happy to be here and to sing the intro to you as many times as you want <laughs> can, can uh, you like can you bless us one more time please yes yes please <laughs> uh, but i will I, I will also uh introduce myself hello i am lj aiken or lj today and i voice uh jensen as the doc has said i voice jensen and I, I love Jensen to bits, and I hope you love him as well, and that my Scottishness is not annoying for you. But if it is, we can talk about that. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> have a calm discussion about it, you know? Yeah. And I mean, is Je is Jensen actually Scottish, or is he putting it on? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. oh you're yeah. already hitting oh, us with the theories. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. The real you know? Adventure Camp mystery. Oh, my gosh. That is true. <laughs> Screw what I had planned for the Jensen discussion. We're diving into his Scottish roots and whether they are real or not. <laughs> so, uh, viewers, as you can already imagine, uh, this episode is not going to be the most serious one we've had so far. But hey, that's fine, because this is the Silly Billy channel for a reason. So, before we begin with something, I want to have a, a quick discussion about last episode and something that happened, which was magical so uh, to to quickly give you some insights i posted a picture of a little a little teaser before the episode six started and people went crazy because they knew they knew that when billy has two guests over for an interview that has to mean there are two eliminated contestants right never mind the fact that drew also had two guests and neither of them were him but that doesn't matter we can neglect that and the annoying part was that you were right but for all the wrong reasons because because neither of my guests were actually the eliminated contestants then. <laughs> and I, I think it's clear now why. <laughs> but <laughs> there were a couple of people in the Disventure Camp Discord server that caught on to this. Like, it, it could just be a coincidence. It, it, it might not even be the actual eliminated contestants. And then Toro is cooler came with the... I, I don't know how you did it. But you perfectly predicted today's guests, like, an episode before they were even signed on. Like, I, I, I had already had confirmation of both of these people joining us today. And then you come on and you're like, well, it, it could just be Dan's voice actor and then, like, somebody like Jensen. I don't know. Toro, if you are watching this, I have one question for you. How? 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 Because I would have never... I, I didn't even predict this being the team-up when Silly Billy came to me with it. How did you do it? <laughs> I need to know. I need whatever voodoo magic you got, okay? I know. Because you got that Jensen magic. Like, I know. 
Ah, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Toro, it, it, you've been blessed with Jensen here with the Jensen magic. It has now been a confirmed thingy. Speaking of which, the recording circumstances for this episode are not the best on uh, at least two out of three fronts here. I don't know, LJ, how are you recording at the moment? Is it is it good for you? Are you comfortable? Uh, it's, it's comfortable for me. I had a little bit of a nightmare because I usually record in my closet. But basically, my closet uh, has broken down and I need to fix it. So, oh, oh God. <laughs> but it, that's okay. That's okay. We're just recording right next to the PC. No, we can still but... call that unconventional recording circumstance number three. Yep. Yeah. We can. Exactly. We can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Ge Genesis, do you want to uh, indulge us in the way that you are recording right now? So, originally, when I recorded like the first five episodes, it was in my home and my home's like very well padded for like sound stuff. So, it like came out pretty beautifully i would say um genesis your your mic is doing weird things again i, <laughs> I imagine <laughs> i imagine genesis is screaming right now we just can't hear it <laughs> i know it's just the, the voice fading into the background i, I, I love that so much as well <laughs> it's not like a media it's just a little fade just to the background. slowly going bye guys <laughs> Come on. Mm. oh Jen? Come on! Oh, oh he's alive! Oh, he's, he's alive! Jen? He's alive! Well, don't speak too soon, buddy. Genesis, you okay? I think, I think I might. Wait, can you hear me? Yes. It's fine. No, we're fine. You know, I I, I work in I work in tech, so, you know, this is just me troubleshooting. This is my normal everyday job. This is fine. I, okay. I'm looking at the image uh, that you sent of your working situation, and I don't believe that you work in tech. <laughs> 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 or I'm may not an maybe, audio engineer. Yeah, maybe I'm I'm wrong about that, and maybe this is just ingenious. Okay. Oh. Right. Now I can actually... No, Jen, no, don't. Just don't. You you're still <laughs> very, very soft. It's like there's there's a Jen frequently screaming in the distance, but like he's on the other side of the road and, and there's traffic going on and <laughs> Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> so while uh, Genesis is trying to figure out his recording situation, uh, I'll quickly talk about my situation, which I'll put on screen right here. So what you can see is that I, I, I basically just took a big blanket and I threw it over top of me and the uh, and the monitor to kind of encapsulate the sound. You can still hear it echoing a little bit, but that's because I couldn't suffer another uh, blanket over my head. <laughs> Usually my recording is fine, but currently I'm in between my current apartment and my previous apartment so i'm having to do this little bit of uh, improvising at my parents place and that is why i'm currently seated like this it's getting to a point where it's getting 40 degrees and i'm wearing a, a thick sweater just to cancel out the noise please send oh. help if i faint during this interview you know why <laughs> <laughs> oh no okay it automatically deafens me <gasps> genesis me. you're back it, uh, genesis jump scare hear you guys by the way <laughs> oh wait he can't uh oh come on moment of effing truth I mean, the moment of truth has already been for us, but hey, keep dreaming, buddy. <laughs> is it working? Yes, it is. It is working. Ah! Okay. <laughs> He's done it. He has done it. He now, is hopefully back. Oh, I wait, is he back? Genesis? It, it, wait, am I back? You're oh, back. You are, oh, you, you are. are you're not just back. You're back and stronger than ever, my guy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Now it's time for me to have tech problems after. Oh, <laughs> <So>. no. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeds to log off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, so Genesis, whenever you you're ready, explain a Let's little bit about your again. desk here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me paint the picture, okay? So I have like this desk, and under it's like a little cubby that like you can like put your feet in and I guess relax in. I I have a flipped over desk so that like it blocks rec like audio echo on the left side. I have a bag towards the left because there's like a little opening because of the desk, so I'm blocking out sound there. And then the right. I and now that suitcase roll, like it's a roller suitcase, so it rolls in and out. So it allows me a little entrance inside. And then inside the desk, I don't have a pick for inside the desk, but inside, like under this desk, I've got like dirty clothes gathered, scattered everywhere to pad out the sound. It is a mad scientist experiment in here. It's not comfortable at all, by the way. Um, I am literally in this recording setup right now, and I guarantee you the sweat dripping Sweat dripping away. Just as his voice. Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, just like my voice? No, oh, it's please. back. Oh, oh, it's back. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just oh, don't God. move around too yeah. frantically. It, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Whew. As you can imagine, uh, a lot of us are warm. A lot of us are having a little bit of technical difficulty. So bear with us, please. As we, uh, well, maybe it's about time that we head into the actual meat of this discussion, <laughs> shall we? Go. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready as ever. All right. I'm so sweet. ready as well. The first thing that I wanted to talk about here is um, the. the meetups that we do uh the the table reads that's the word i don't know how it is for the spanish or the polish team but uh, for the english team we have these table reads where we gather online and then basically read the script together and to be quite frankly honest with you that's about all that i know of it because i only was able to attend it once and then i had to be muted for the entire thing but the one time i was there it was really fun but genesis you have been really active in in planning all of these things so uh, tell a little bit about that experience Right, so first off, I want to say, screw time zones, because I really wanted Billy to take part in at least, like, a few of these, but it, it unfortunately didn't happen. Yeah, a, a little context for the viewers, I, I think most people know this, but I'm Dutch, and uh, as such, uh, I'm practically one of the only Europeans. I mean, LJ, you're also European, right? But like most people are in the American time zones, which means whenever it is a convenient time for them to record, it is like 2 a.m. at my time. So uh, yeah, I'm, I need my sleep. <laughs> we we tried every single like possible time slot, nothing. I was, I was so sad. But anyway, uh, yeah, so in regards to the whole table read, when, when we got casted, we had this like whole server where, you know, like all the voice actors were there and everything. I've never done a table read like prior to like anything here. I didn't know how any voice acting thing worked because this is my debut performance entirely. So I, I don't know how anything worked, but um, God bless um, Derek Jackman, Nick's VA, because he was the one who suggested like, oh, like we should do like, you know, something fun together, like table reads or something so that we can like get to know each other better. I was like, you know what? I love this cast already. Why not we make this an actual thing? Yeah, so I, I planned out, I used when to meet to sort of like plan out like time slots for each um, table read. And we got together and oh my God, they are so fun. I'm telling you when this cast, I, I, I love this cast so much because when we get together, we're laughing, we're having a grand old time. And not everyone can make it every time, you know, like obviously we have Philly and everything. Yeah, but also, go on ahead like, and rub it in. <laughs> no, I, no. <laughs> you, I'm, I love this cast so much. Um, LG, why don't you talk about your experience with it as well? Because, you know, you're, you're, uh, you've are you're also been part of a lot of the table reads, actually. I have indeed. And it is sad when like people can not come and read for it, but other like voice actors get to like voice like the different characters in it. And it's just so fun. Like, um, uh, I remember one time I got to voice Fiore. And that was <laughs> that was very fun to do. Please, yeah. please enlighten us. Do do a line, any line, and make it Fiore yeah. like. <laughs> Say toes are coming right here into my plot. <laughs> I just gotta. Yeah, I did Fiore. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. <laughs> uh, no, something we, like that. We so, constantly make fun of it because it was like so high pitch. Discord would cut it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> assholes, these assholes. Oh my <laughs> God. I'm dead. It's all for the sake of fun, you know. So we're just like picking up the most random, like weird, <laughs> like oh, let's have you know Raytix voice um, Ellie or you know like it is so much fun just, I love this cast yeah, with all my heart just the weirdest picks ever and it sounded real fun uh, the, the one that I attended uh, I believe it was for like episode 2 or, th or 3 or something early so a lot of characters were still in the race and I believe there were like 6 or 7 people that could actively uh, speak in that episode or I couldn't use my mic at the time but I was able to hear everything that went on and I remember it was so funnily chaotic the first 5 minutes minutes and then a new character popped up in the scream and everybody was like silent and then the realization of oh crap this guy's also not here uh who wants to take <laughs> on this character <laughs> <laughs> and that that just happened like four or five times within the span of two minutes it was glorious because <laughs> <laughs> because each like we we go like two lines and then we like reach like a, an actor we're just like oh crap they're not here Oh, I want to make the finale as big as possible. I, yes. I invited the writers, by the way, so they'll also Ooh. be joining in. <laughs> no um, fun. Yeah, yeah. No, I cannot wait. So. Oh my god, I, I, we I should do that one live. 
<gasps> yeah. And oh I don't know. God. I don't know if if Jared and Robert would like us spoiling that uh, in that well, way. Well, we can do it. We can do it after the episode ends. Just sort of kind of like a farewell. Just kind of record it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my that was God. So fun. Jared, Robert, I want to do that. Do it. Let's do it. We're all gonna I, be there. I'm you doing. Okay. We got big plans for this. Let's go. <laughs> You oh two have God. thought of something huge right here, you know? Oh right, God. yeah. Oh my God, now I have I to attend wait. it. Who needs sleep when you have this, right? <laughs> oh, and please oh. let us all shift characters. I mean, at that oh, point, yeah. there are only like four or five characters still available to voice. True. So uh, it's not that everybody needs to be. God damn it, I need to be there. I'm in the finale. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn Genesis, it. if you're not too busy, you can be Trevor. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, I, I've been kind of. I, I've been actually doing that like for a lot of the time. Yeah, I years. know. You were you were killing it. I was getting Thank jealous. You. I was like, oh my God, no. have I been casted, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the whole casting talk when we get to it, but oh my God, it was. Whew. But yeah, anyway, no, you do a fantastic Trevor. I can never hope to compete. Nah. <laughs> I, 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 would, I would also like to say, uh, Aubrey, you do a amazing Fiore, and I can, not, I can never compete. I, can I, never compete. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I would say, you come closer than most, LJ. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> now that we are on we the go. topic of who voices who, uh, Jensen, uh, or Jensen, LJ, you can get the confusion. I I have to commend you for your, your performance as Jensen. I had Jensen scheduled at the end of this talk, but we can move him a bit ahead because Jensen to me is it's a pretty small character in the show all things considered but you give him so much life he is such a force agreed. because of your delivery <laughs> agreed I I still I still can't go over the you must bake a cheesecake line Th uh, oh that was God. the one that I have in the script here as well yeah that might be my <laughs> favorite line anyone has said this season so far <laughs> <laughs> you must speak a cheesecake! Imagine for a second, this is going to be hard for you, LJ, but imagine you're LJ, right? And then mm. at, you are reading the script, right? As you do as LJ. And then you read the you must bake a cheesecake line. What went through your head to make it this bombastic, this grandiose? <laughs> <laughs> I just, um, I think it was just the fact I read it and I was like, you must bake a cheesecake. You must bake a cheesecake. And I was like, that, you know, that has to have some power in it, you know? Because this is a pivotal moment in, in the in the episode. Uh, and uh, I think just from that, um, I only recorded it one way, which was the way that you saw in the, in the, in the, um, <laughs> that in the episode. That was the first and take as well. It was. It oh was the first God. take, yeah. <laughs> and um, and I just, I just kind of sent it away and hoped that if they did say, um, tone it down than I would have, but uh, I was secretly just kind of hoping that uh, they would keep it that way because I just um, knew like, oh, this this isn't probably the way they want me to do it, but this is how I'm feeling. I want to do it, and I'm just gonna throw it in there and just kind of see um, if they like it or not. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I love Jensen is me shouting in my closet, and uh, but I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. It's so fun to do, and. Um, I love Jensen to bits. He's um he's a mix of family members that I know, and then he's a mix of like groundskeeper Willie from the Simpsons. Yes, from the Simpsons, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Brothers and sisters are natural enemies, like Englishmen and Scots, or Scots and other Scots. Damn Scots! They ruined Scotland. You Scots sure are a contentious people. You just made an enemy for life. And uh, and then uh, and then Chef as well from Total Drama. A wee bit of that as well. And it's just um, just all <laughs> of that mixed together um, with with a bit of uh, LG pizzazz. Right. And that's how yeah. you get the cheesecake. That's how you get the cheesecake. Oh man, a recipe for something beautiful here. Mm. What do you guys think is is the thing that they are hinting at here? What is the big Jensen mystery? I have seen the beta version. Obviously, they're not going to do what was done in the beta version. Please remind me what happens uh what happens in the beta version again? It's basically the kidnapping of Chris McLean. Oh. So, the original host kidnapped uh Chris McLean. 
Um, and I think at the second to last episode, Chef goes to like some government agency or something like that. It's like, yeah. we, need, we need to find Chris McClane. He, he's been kidnapped by Jared. And so Robert literally comes as a policeman to like arrest, <laughs> to arrest, <laughs> or to arrest Jared. Jensen takes the money and books it. And in the Fiore ending, when Fiore wins, Fiore chases after him <laughs> and Jensen gets in the bus and runs over Fiore. That, Fine. that I knew, and that is still my favorite detail of Adventure Camp. I, I talked it. about this with Jared and Robert, and um, you are not shown what happens to Fiore afterwards, but they confirmed that in their opinion, Fiore dies. Like she what? just, she straight up, she's dead in that ending. <laughs> It's not no. canon anymore. I know that. That whole scene of Jensen running over Fiore, that has been like the that that has been like the reasoning for all of my all of my uh, uh, Jensenisms throughout the whole. <laughs> that's been the whole reason for it. You that are was so just, the inspiration. <laughs> you yeah. are so ready to hit Fiore with a bus. <laughs> I am so ready for it. I'm so ready. Another thing that I see brought up sometimes on the uh this venture camp like discord is the fact that jensen in the beta version is russian i do actually really like the idea of like jensen hiding his real voice and like nationality and who he really is like is his name even like jensen i'm excited at the idea of jensen not actually being who he is and not actually being scottish like i even have this wee kind of like idea in my head that he he chose to do this like fake scottish accent because he watched like brave and was like <laughs> <laughs> this this is this is good accent i want i want this accent yes <laughs> Well, if that is the case, then then Jensen is <laughs> killing it. To be fair. <laughs> also, I love the idea that the brave of all movies is what inspired him to go like, oh yeah, this is what I want to base my entire personality around. <laughs> yeah, just Princess Merida <laughs> running around on a horse. That that's yeah. just mm, mwah. <laughs> Y'all are in for a treat for the next, like, many, many episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of treats, one treat that we lose in this episode. Um, Genesis, you're ready to talk about this. Let's go. It's, Let's it's this. the ending of the Dan Supremacy. We all had a feeling it was coming. S no, I know. I mean, to be specific, people from day one have been guessing that, oh, Dan has to be next, right? <laughs> Episode one, yeah, Dan is going first. It's probably, I mean, they're going to retouch the elimination order, but Dan is probably going first. He doesn't. Okay, next episode. <laughs> um, I mean, okay, so Will, uh, he got switched around, but I think they're just gonna switch around the first two eliminated contestants, and Dan go- No, Dan, Dan stays. Okay, okay, so episode three, Dan is still here. Okay, well, probably they're not gonna do three guy eliminations after each other. No, wrong! They're doing three eliminated guys, and they're not, none of them are Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, episode four, and then is when people started to catch on, like, surely there's not gonna be four eliminated guys in a row. So Dan is probably safe. Where is this going? And slowly but surely, people were catching on that the Den Supremacy was real. Yeah! And that he was becoming stronger and bigger than ever. And the three lines that he got throughout most of the season were already beaten by episode one. And I was here for it. <laughs> I was here for the Dan Supremacy. First off, Dan Nation! Sorry, had to. <laughs> anyway, for all the people who thought Dan was going to be another early boot and maybe sort of kind of felt bad about it, don't worry because I felt the exact same way from the moment I'm, i mean the moment i got casted literally the moment i got casted i was beyond overjoyed for one thing but i was already packing my bags i was all right well all right it's been nice knowing y'all at the camp i'll, I'll see y'all next time <laughs> um i thought it was going to be very similar to uh to um the beta version where if, if y'all don't know obviously in the beta version dan was the first eliminated i thought it was going to be very very similar to that and in that context i was like uh, maybe he can at least like intern like oliver you know like have one of those. <laughs> I, but um it was the 
exact same for me, like when the scripts were coming out, because the moment I saw Will was eliminated first, I was like, what? I've, I've been watching all the past interviews, right? And the interview that was done with Turg for episode two, he, he expected Dan and Will to go much further. And I was looking at it and I was laughing and I was like, that's funny because I thought the exact opposite. I thought Dan was going to be the first to go again, 100%. Turk had more faith in my own character than I did. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he got past episode five, I was like, this this isn't real. This is unreal. This is not happening right, right now. Right, yeah. I, at that point, I was all for it. I was like, look at the purple man go. I love him. And then episode seven. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, it lasted. Well, it, it had to come to an end at some point. It but had to. He technically outlived the previous winner. <laughs> he did. Surprisingly. Right. I did not yeah. expect that. Well, like, I, I mean, we we say technically. I'm assuming everyone's already seen the episode by now. Well, um, if so you haven't, I mean, then you already got spoiled that Dan is out. But if you yeah. haven't watched the episode just yet, I keep telling you to go watch the episode first. Why don't you listen? Gret is not going home. <laughs> Ellie's not going home. There's your spoilers. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Dan, Dan Supremacy had to go, unfortunately, but I am, as someone who thought he was going to go from the beginning, I am more than happy with his place in here. <laughs> what I like about uh, Dan as well is that he, he actually got quite a few interactions here and there as well, especially his dynamic with, uh, with Gabby was just really wholesome, and <laughs> I really liked Dan being the strategic voice of reason, sort of, uh, with his mm -hmm. alliance with the boys and then his alliance backfiring and him not sure which character to trust and not. Like, that, I really thought that was such a fun direction to take this character in and his inevitable mm. downfall also felt like another one of these eliminations where it just made strategic sense that Dan was the next one to go. But yeah. that's what I oh, love yeah. about this season so much. Back when back when we'd finished recording episode five, uh Billy and I were just like casually like, you know, talking in DMs and Billy asked me like, oh like when do you think Dan's gonna go? And I was like, it's probably going to be episode seven. I, I unfortunately guessed it right on the money and I'm very sad that I did, but the way he went, never would have thought in a million years. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you with a totem? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, Dan, he got so robbed. When Gabby pulled out that totem, I'm like, you, you gonna use it on Dan though? Are you kidding me? And what makes it even more cruel is that literally in episode two, Dan loses his glasses, and Gabby finds the totem right under Dan's nose. Right. That is the most cruel poetic justice Jared and Robert would have done. Y'all, y'all, Jared, Robert, if you're watching this, I know you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> now, now imagine like uh, an alternative reality where Dan uh, found the totem instead while looking for his glasses. Oh Dan God! Been unstoppable. He Dan would have been, been straight to the finale. Oh my! Dan would have been a absolute beast of a of, of a player. You know, <laughs> that that no, that's that's the reason why. Dan couldn't have been the one that found the totem because it would have just broken the whole story. <laughs> True. <yeah. laughs> he, he's only using 1% of his power, right? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Speaking of oh the god. of the casual encounters that we've had at Genesis, I, I, I want to bring up one which I want to share with the viewers, which was uh, back when the voice actors for season one were beginning to get announced and Dan mm -hmm. was pretty early on the list of voice actors to be announced and right. <laughs> you were already a member of the 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 silly billy duck pond which uh, to the people <laughs> who are not aware is the discord server that we have you can join it it's in the description if I like, don't forget otherwise just go to my channel you can find it uh, anyway you were already a member of that server uh, I don't think we we officially met before that point even just yet right and you were announced as a voice actor and you knew you knew that <laughs> I was a voice actor because we yeah. got that confirmation of these are your colleagues, right? And <laughs> we were messing around so much with that. We were oh. bathing in the power. It was so fun because it then was... everybody there, we made them paranoid because I was, my character had not been announced yet. Trevor's voice actor was still a mystery. So uh, at that point, it was for me, I was pretending to be like, I'm going to just do reactions this season again. And uh, I, I was like, <laughs> oh my God, you're saying that one of the voice actors has been in the duck pond this entire time? <gasps> that means they could. <laughs> 
could be <laughs> any of us. <laughs> it was literally, it was an Among Us moment right there. It was like a literal, there was one VA Among Us, you know? It, it was literally like that. When I was first cast, there was a whole week between when we got that casting call email and when we were introduced to like our colleagues, right? And so I joined the Silly Billy Duck Pond just like around that time and sort of just like hung out there for a little bit because I wanted to get to know like, you know, everyone in the Silly Billy Discord server. Little did I know the moment we got like the call, like I was the first one who got plot twisted with that. Like it was a whole M. Night Shyamalan plot twist and a half for me <laughs> when I saw when when I literally was like, oh my God, I wonder who's voicing who. And then I look down and I see the Silly Billy and I just... I screamed. I fell out. I mean, <laughs> y'all know I already screamed behind the scenes, but like, <laughs> I screamed when I saw Silly Billy on there, and I was like, oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, Billy, like, but I was like, hey, by the way, I'm a big fan of you. Hee hee ha ha hoo 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 ha ha. Because I didn't know what else to say. I was terrified. The moment, the moment I got revealed as a VA, it came as kind of like a fun little like twist for the whole like Silly Billy server because, you know, I mean, I'm a VA. Yeah, no, it eventually got to the point where people were like, there might be other imposters, uh, or I was about to say imposters. My God. <laughs> there might be other VAs among you. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> With that, Silly Billy and I were on the troll. We were, <laughs> we were on fueling the troll that debate, yeah. <laughs> it was so fun because I remember someone was like, oh, I wonder if Silly Billy's an, a voice actor. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, no, they know too much. Uh, uh, and then I was like, uh, it would have been great if you were a voice actor too, Billy. It would have been been great if you were my colleague. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. Yeah, I texted you like, oh my god, I love you for this. <laughs> it, it felt so <laughs> legit. Like, oh, if we were, I would have loved to be colleagues. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think anyone was expecting Billy to be the voice when it came. So thank god we, we, we successfully did it. <laughs> We, we trolled them pretty well, because I remember uh, when the discussion was sizzling out, people were making, like, lists. There were a couple of people who were really active at the moment, like, um, they were making their predictions of which of these people is most likely going to be a voice actor. And I don't know why, but I was at the bottom of a, quite a few lists there. Like, it was <laughs> it was more uh, reasonable to assume that a, 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 a random person on the server would be one of the voice actors than me. And, I mean, sure, I'll, I'll keep it that way, just keep believing that, and you'll figure it out in like a week or two. But those weeks, the the, the two weeks leading up to the reveal of Trevor, had I was anticipating I mean, it every day. <laughs> I think it was partially, I think it was partially because like, I was kind of just a random member of the server at that point. Yeah, you know? true, so, yeah. Like, when it was revealed out, I, I was a VA, it was like, oh my god, it prob it's probably gonna be another random member, you know? Like, nobody nobody's gonna ex- Like, when you get a random member reveal, no one's gonna expect, like, the actual owner of the server to be, you no, know, the big true. one as And well. it also helped that, I mean, uh, the Silly Billy Duck Pond had already been assembling quite a, quite a bit of this Venture Cam viewers. So, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was pretty reasonable to assume that some of these people would addition to be one of the voice, and like, maybe one or two would actually be cast as one. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that also really helped, like, oh my god, is this person going to be... are, are, are you? Am I going to be a VA? <laughs> <laughs> It was it was wonderful. I that was a great that was a great week and a half for me. I yep, was same. enjoying every single moment of it. Uh, and then I watched your "Hi, I'm Trevor" voice, and I was like, "Yeah, no, I was with you. I was with you trolling right there." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, good times, good times. By the way, if uh, for for anyone in the Silly Billy server watching, I humbly apologize, but um, you know, it was a nice surprise, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I felt a little bad. There were a, a couple of people that I had thoroughly been lying to about this role that, that were entrusting me with this information. Like, uh, Diane, <laughs> you're probably watching this right now. I, I already apologize to you, but I can't help but feel bad. So here you go. Have the apology again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Liz, you can blame Jared and Robert, okay? We had to keep our mouths shut, all right? It was, That's for, it was for the good of the show. That's true, but I was rubbing it in. I was full on in that discussion <laughs> of like, oh, I'm so sad I didn't get it. I, that was a necessary oh my end, and I apologize for that. <laughs> oh my god.
he he was already practicing his, his VA skills at that point. He, he was already true. Like... Yeah, <laughs> I, I think uh, we are about done with this uh, pre-discussion for now. How about we guys uh, watch the episode together? Perfect. Sounds great to me. <laughs> Sounds well, great to me. <laughs> see you in three days when we do it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's not something they're supposed to know. Yeah, see you yeah. in what is definitely not going to be a, a three-day time jump, but is just going to be a simple swoosh like it always is. Okay, let's go. Hi, this is already a silly video, so I thought I'd just do this segment with a giant echo and in the middle of a video. <laughs> As you know, we now have official channel members, and I would like to give a special shout-out to each of them. So, shout-outs Go out to Immer Gaming, Gita Geit, Gallen Strumbu, Javi Koopa, Meffers, Iggy Ignatius, and Media Films for their support on the Silly Billy channel. Thank you so much. And if you would like to receive some of these shoutouts as well as some other very cool benefits like getting the episode a couple days earlier, please make sure to check out the membership program down below. It's only like two bucks and you get all the advantages that any higher tiers would also get because I love you guys. So make sure to check it out if you have some time and some money left and let's get on with the video. Yes. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Chase. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, bam. Previously on this venture camp, it was announced that both teams would attend the elimination. <laughs> That's right, the back to back double. <laughs> oh, right, the double elimination, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. with only one per the thing that mm -hmm. bugged people for so long. <laughs> of getting to a platform without getting caught by Mr. Oh, Jensen. Yes. Don't there he is. There's the man well, the himself. Team worked together, My fat ass. The team was a mess. <laughs> Most of it caused by Gabby and Gret. In the end, Gabby got fed up with Gret's orders, taking immunity. Oh, yeah, no, that was a good moment. Absolutely, yeah. Made me adore Gabby even more. Second immunity. In the also, Alec doing something. It's immaculate. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. It's beautiful. To see. Yes. As we wander, we'll be voted out to the nuts. question marks. Mm hmm. Make it even less subtle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time seeing this intro and just like being like, wow. Yeah, same. The 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 jump from DC2 to DC1. Insane. And also right? the yeah. jump that Dan took when he fell in the water. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seeing the intro oh, made man. me realize, oh my god, I'm gonna be in like something super cool here. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like, like, actually, like... I was like, oh my god, I'm that little baby boy! Been kicked <laughs> off your teams, but not from the game. Oh. Here is a map for each of you. Oh. You should go to the opposite team where you will integrate as new members. Ooh. This has to be a joke. It's not. We still have a chance to win the million. Fine, whatever. My whole team is going to regret voting for me. That regret? <laughs> they are Got going em. to wish they never crossed me. Uh oh. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrified. Ouch! What the hell? Bonk. Regret. Bang. What's going on? Didn't you just get voted out? Apparently, another game twist. All we did was switch teams. Ooh. Does does that mean Ellie is still in the game? Yep. Yes. Uh -huh. She's already on her way to the other. Grant must be so powerful. Like she just got hit by a rock and just completely <laughs> like face. it on yeah. face. <laughs> I haven't forgotten her voting me out on day one. I hope that Ellie doesn't have any hot feelings. I'm worried this will come back to bite me. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, that's just a game, right? <laughs> Not me. Hello. Hey, Hello. what are you doing here? Ellie? I got kicked off the other team. Oh no! But they left me a note that says I have to join the opposing team. <laughs> oh my gosh! Will you be on this team now? <laughs> that's right. I know we haven't talked much, but it's nice to meet you all. I mean, at least... Wait, I'm gonna pause hey. it real quick. Um, huh? uh, my least favorite part about this Venture Camp Season 2 was James and Rosa Maria in the finale of all episodes going like, I know we haven't spoken much, and they were like, 
in the merch for like a solid week together, which kind of just confirmed that whatever happens on screen is basically everything that these guys are doing and they're T-posing PNGs in the background when we're not <laughs> watching. <laughs> uh, but here it kind of makes sense because these camps are far apart. So Ellie not having spoken much with uh, Jake and Tom and such makes a lot of sense. So here I can kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here I can appreciate it more. I love your jacket. Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. Name's Jake. I know. <laughs> With Ellie on the team, things will be easier. If yeah. we lose, we can just vote for her instead of one of us. Yeah. <laughs> that that that's your mistake number one, Dan. Yeah. That's your mistake number one. Famous last words. <laughs> are a toxic couple. Top ten things said before disaster. Old lady and Dan is a dumb kid who pretends to know things. <laughs> hey, what are, hey now! <laughs> what are you saying about our damnation here? Tell others make intelligent decisions. Wow, so just took a it shot seems against like the there damnation. are a lot of incompetence oh on the other team. I wonder if people know this. Um, like, Ritex, the, the voice actor, doesn't sound like that. He does not sound like that at all. I know him in real life. That really? Is, yeah, this is, I, don't, I don't know if that's like, I don't know if he puts on, has he ever like spoken to you? Not uh, in people, yet, I believe. He speaks in the table reads, so I I, I do mm. know how he actually sounds. Yeah, he, he puts on a good voice for Alec. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, now I'm really curious to have him on an interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're just gonna root that Alec gets eliminated next episode and we can talk to him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two glasses, boys. Give, really him, er give him earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you, though? I suppose you want something in return. If you promise to never vote for us, we'll help you. And how would you propose I get my revenge? Patience. Knowledge is key in this game. We have to exploit their weaknesses. Mm. I this is a terrifying alliance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All the villains coming together. If these guys, right? yeah, if these guys make merch, they're gonna, they're gonna kill. <laughs> feel at home. That's something I haven't really felt before. Ah, cute. <laughs> Surprisingly wholesome. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Such, Good morning. Such sadness. Is everything all right? Gabby told me you and Tom are close, but it doesn't look that way anymore. Is something wrong? Is it that obvious? Are you mad? Yes, I am. Tom has been lying to all of us since he got here. He lied to me, like everyone else does. Oh. How so? I don't want to bother you with my problems. Don't worry. After last night, I know what it's like being betrayed. Everything <laughs> Uh-oh. <-uh>. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, no, Alec, I, I think you better... <laughs> run. Just just run. <laughs> just run. Honestly, a five-minute conversation could probably solve his issue. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ali. Thank you. Hey, uh, Gabby. I wanted to thank you for not voting for me yesterday. It's nothing! The glasses <laughs> slip off. <laughs> Love that detail. Aww. Aww. Dan and Gabby are so cute. Yeah. They are. For now. Hope nothing ruins it. No. <laughs> I wish I'd just gone home. We already do. No one is thrilled you're still here. <laughs> just you. Damn, Miriam. Cat murdered that line. Oh, no. <laughs> Miriam becoming like my favorite character was something I didn't see coming. No, so true. Happy. Me yeah. neither. Team will be tied to this giant. I remember us talking about how, like, oh, no, or especially Kat saying, like, <laughs> she was nearly 100% sure um, Miriam would be voted out episode 5. Yeah. I mean, she's apparently going to detail her entire backstory then. And I was like, mm. I hate to admit it, but you're probably right. But That's, no, yeah, not at all. She's still no. here. Episode 7 and yep. kicking. Let's go, Miriam. <laughs> I mean, if if the Dan Nation is is not happening, then please, Miriam Nation, can, do yes. maybe do we have a name for that? The 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 Miriam 
Empire. The Miriam Miracle. <laughs> the Miriam Miracle. The Miriam Miracle. <laughs> miracle. That is so- it's the Miracle. Any Miriam miracle. fans out there, coin that as your as your nation. Make you know? it a you hashtag. Yeah. Guys, hashtag Miriam Miracle. Cat Miriam Miracle. Oh God, this is. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> Water and spit it out into a container in front of you. When you have enough I water the in the Oliver container, King, yeah. me too. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> One member of each team will be the guide and get on this platform, while the others will have. It's funny how Oliver was like the first boot in season two, and yet he's the one who's appeared in the most episodes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. With Crystal not being here, yeah, that makes Oliver the most frequent character in the show. <laughs> Any Oliver fans out there? He, he, See you I already. hope he's doing you proud. I think it would be easier if he you is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is everything okay between us, Ellie? What do you think, Alec? Yeah. I Ooh. knew it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, Gabby. <laughs> This child. Gabby's like, this is a typical weekend for me. Uh huh. I I I I'm, I want to count. Uh, I want to rewatch some old episodes and see how many times I say it. But Gabby is insane is a line that keeps returning, and I keep wanting to say it, <laughs> which he really is. I mean, it's true. Mm -hmm. And I love her for it. Are you sure you can do it, Miriam? Of course I can. Don't let my age fool you. When I was younger, sports helped me get away from my issues at home. I put my body through every high school varsity sport imaginable. <laughs> I took water, polo, lacrosse, cheerleading, and even debate. What? Debate not a sport? I could debate that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to be uh, to be in a debate room <laughs> yeah, with Miriam on the opposite end. Yeah, true. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. Wouldn't want to face the miracle. <laughs> Are you okay, Gabby? Yeah, I am. Keep going. <laughs> I think in these kind of situations, you should just automatically assume Gabby's okay. Yeah, true. It, she's like Izzy. Take a breath, Fiore. <laughs> it's funny when you consider the fact that they are willingly dumping a little girl in the water <laughs> over and over. Like water if she's dead. <laughs> Gret's like, w w what does it matter if she's dead? <laughs> we can just vote her off. <laughs> I'm sorry. <it's> just... <laughs> Gret said so. Did you hear Tom side? You should ask him. People Thank are you, Ellie. Complex. Oh my God! Thank you, you so can't much. Can't jump to conclusions. <laughs> Ellie being the voice of oh, reason. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Jake needs like seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the blindfolds. I can be the guide. I think I have a low voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone put on the blindfolds. You got it, Tom. Follow my voice. <laughs> Follow my voice. <laughs> Ow. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Terrified. Uh, me too. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gabby's the best Tom. guide. <laughs> Rhett, go back a bit. What? Just do it. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh, I know what's coming. Ow! Oh. My glasses. Ow. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Fiore. You. Oh. I think I think people noticed that this like the moment that happened it was like oh that's the beginning of the end for Dan. Yeah. Yeah. It's like in TDI when uh Cody gets like mauled by a his bear. His whole body broken. <laughs> yeah. Are any of you good at puzzles? I'm not. How is Tom not good at puzzles? Oh, yeah. He's a spy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. I mean, you guys could go a little slower. I mean. uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> run with a piece like that. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Boink. Really just looking out for your guys' safety, you know? This is humiliating. It is. It's a puzzle of four pieces, guys. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the purple team finishes their puzzle and wins immunity. Woo! Yes! <laughs> in your faces. 
So basically, Teal Team would have won if, like, Fiore hadn't done that whole thing to break Dan's glasses. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Huh. Or if, if like, at least one person paid attention in, in primary school. <laughs> <laughs> Got some basic puzzle Sorry skills. Sorry to interrupt. Oh. Who does the voice for this, actually? Because I actually... Uh, I believe it's, it's Michael it's, Kimbrough. It's Michael, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. this isn't it. Yeah. And if you want to hear more about Michael Kimbrough, make sure to check out the first episode of this interview series. <laughs> I hey. couldn't help but plug. <laughs> <laughs> Am I really willing to risk everything, my my whole career, so so we could be something more? Oh, but the way you've behaved in the last few days made one thing clear to me. Uh, I don't really know you, oh. and I can't risk everything for someone who acts so unpredictably. Tom, I'm I'm sorry. I was so selfish, thinking only for myself. I I had no idea. That's correct. You had no idea. You never bothered to ask. Oh my god. Damn! That, nah. Uh, Josh and, and Jace have a really good dynamic together. You can tell they really practiced. Yeah. <laughs> As for Ellie, who even is she? That's, <laughs> I don't want to vote for her. Gabby, trust me, it's for the best. For you it is! But not for me. You always do what's the best for you, and you don't care what anyone else thinks. Oh my. Like when you. I just want to calmly point out that you, uh, you dropped Dan down a hole in the last time. <laughs> <laughs> just want to point that out real quick, you know? That's the ghost of Dan coming to haunt Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, he's there. You did this to me. <laughs> I will never forgive you. <laughs> Next episode, that's gonna be Dan. <laughs> uh, I have to go clean my socks. <laughs> and he dives into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect place to clean your socks. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Gabby. You're the only one I wouldn't mind voting for. Oof. I vote for Oof. Ellie. We have to keep this team together. Uh, you have all cast your votes. Oh, Time for no. me to read them and make your decision final. It all comes the down to this. The most uh -oh. votes must leave the camp. What's up? I have <laughs> an immunity totem and I want to use it. I want to use this totem to nullify the votes against Ellie. Oh my. <gasps> what? Uh... Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Ellie doesn't count either. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> well played, Gabby. Mm. It was very well played. And honestly, what a way for Dan to go, too. Right, mm. yeah. No valid vote so far. Next vote. Gabby. That would have been harsh if Gabby just outplayed <laughs> yeah. herself like that. <laughs> outplayed herself. One vote Dan, one vote Gabby, and only one vote left. Uh-oh. -uh. The sixth person voted from oh, this venture camp. Oh, <laughs> Get no. ready to say goodbye, Don Nation. <laughs> Wipe it away, tear as we speak. Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> my friend. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, there uh, it is. Why would you waste your totem on Ellie? I didn't waste it. I saved her because she treats me like a person. Oof. Gabby, thank you so much for saving me. No problem, Destiny. <laughs> With Dan in the right middle. Right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for me just a rub it in with you. Good luck, guys. Aw. Bye. He was way too calm for that. All stars. All stars. All stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm going to start my campaign for Dan and All Stars right now. Anyone who wants Dan to come into All Stars, put in the comments of the Disventure Camp uh, episode. 
at the end of it, just put hashtag Dan for all stars. That's <laughs> hashtag Dan, the number four, all stars, all in lowercase. Let's do Only it. Only if you want Dan and all stars. Though. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. If you don't want. Oh, Dan Nation. Also, uh, oh, that was. Uh, what a it. way to go out, though. Yeah, that was it. Oh, man. Hello, everyone. Uh, and it's my turn. And here's the Patreon shout outs for is. all the lovely patrons. I will I will confess, by the way. Um a little bit of Genesis really came out during these Patreon shout outs because I was I had a lot of fun voicing these. <laughs> People have probably noticed this by now, but a lot of the VAs, we do a little bit of improv when it comes to these Patreon shout outs uh -huh. with some of the some of the names. <laughs> like the good old Parker is here. Where? Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> you know, we have a lot of fun with these Patreon shoutouts. We have a lot of fun with the show, uh, genuinely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's unfortunate that Dan had to go out this way, but I mean, what a way to go. It's honestly, a, yeah, it's it's really it's a big boy way to go instead of just. <laughs> Well, of course not. I lied. Bye, Dan. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry that you only got three lines. As someone who really thought he was going to be first boot again, first episode going out, um, he went really far in this season and got out in a way that I think was a pretty admirable way, um, all things considered. I think it's an interesting character analysis in the sense that you can tell Dan doesn't really have a lot of emotional intelligence. Um, he doesn't really understand a lot of things emotionally, whereas Gabby, on the other hand, is kind of on the opposite of the spectrum, I think. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a cool dynamic, but it also served as Dan's downfall because he didn't really understand, you know, yeah, Gabby the, and Ellie's whole thing. The why would you waste a totem line basically says it all, right? Right. Yeah. No, I think that was yeah. a very subtle way of showing it. Yeah. Um, so thumbs up on that, uh, Jared and Robert. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Um, it made me really appreciate Dan a lot more and um, for all the people who um, really enjoy Dan's character, or even all the people who are indifferent to it, I hope um, I hope uh, that analysis uh, opened your eyes a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes Ooh. that's all it needs, right? So yeah, oh, right, right. Man. It's, it's sad to lose Dan. It makes sense to do it now. Um, mm -hmm. but it's it's still right. it's still. A pity. I'm gonna mm. miss him. For all the people who are like, oh my gosh, why is Dan still in? There you go. Now he's out. Nah, stop complaining. <laughs> now they're now they're shifting their attention to the Miriam miracle. If I hear any of you complain that Miriam is still here, you're making it personal. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Miriam miracle. All the Miriam fans out there, comments of this video. Hashtag Miriam miracle. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> a great episode. I really like this one. Uh, the strategic mm -hmm. mind games that are played in this Venture Camp Season 1 are really what, what drive me to the show the most. The one thing that I think differentiates Disventure Camp from Total Drama is that I think Disventure Camp makes me really think a lot more about the strategy behind the game than I think Total Drama does. Yep. Uh, not that I don't think about the strategy a whole lot with Total Drama, but I think with Disventure Camp it's definitely a lot more prominent. And um, because... I think um, a lot of the characters, even like the early boots, get so much screen time than a lot of the earlier boots in Total Drama, I True. personally think. Yeah. At least DC really made me think about like the whole Survivor-esque game from a whole new perspective, and I really got to give um, Disventure Camp props for that. Um, and yeah, no, it's it's been amazing being a part of the series. It's been amazing uh, working with you, LJ, and you, Silly Billy. Uh, truly, truly an honor. Uh, shout out to um, all the voice actors who worked on this. Um, shout out to um, Kenkoi and uh, Crystal for uh, shouting me out in their elimination interview. As well. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. You guys are amazing. It's been so kind of lovely, like seeing you at the beginning, oh. just kind of rise and become just like you. You became to me. You've become like the main voice in that in in both group oh. chats. For this venture, you know, Aww. you're the you're the person who's always brought us together. You're so lovely. You're so welcoming, and you made Dan just such a you know just such a fan favorite, you know. So literally so. got tears in my eyes. Thank who's so much. who's this is chopping your onions? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wholeheartedly Aww. agree uh, with what has been said before. Your name, uh, Genesis, has has been brought up a couple of times by other voice actors as well, not just Crystal and uh, Kenkoi. 
So, yeah. Thank you for that. Aww. The, the honor is, is mutual, definitely. That goes both ways, uh, LJ, for you as well. It's it's an honor to work with you on the show. For any for any voice actors that are watching this, thank you so much for making this experience uh, as amazing as it is. And thank you so much for all the viewers of Disventure Camp. You are the heart and soul of this project, genuinely. True. Uh, yeah. You... This this show could not be what it is without you guys, and I wholeheartedly thank you all for that. Such a wholesome way to end it. I can't. I true. think so. Yeah. 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 I can already hear the outro music playing. You know, it's in the background, like the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like this, this started out as this started this started out as like a complete joke of an episode, and it's ended on right. such so, a beautiful note. Might have something. <laughs> might have something to do with the three days in between. <laughs> right. Right. I think it has something for everyone. You know, it's got a little bit of humor, a little bit of action a little bit of wholesome <laughs> moments you know it all yeah, wraps exactly. together very nicely it's a whole show in and of itself <laughs> exactly genesis shall i start with you where can people find more of you if they want to oh absolutely uh if you all if y'all want to find more of me uh i need to be active in some of my other channels genuinely but uh you can um check out my youtube channel uh it's g genesis 9876 i had to put the g in front because um someone took the original at for genesis 9876 how Impossible. dare they <laughs> I know, right? How how cruel. Uh, but it's also the same thing for Instagram. If you want to hear any updates on, you know, anything voice acting related, singing related, I sing every now and then. Uh, feel free to follow at ggenesis9876 on uh, Instagram. Um, is that really all I have in terms of plugs? Oh my god. Oh, also my Twitch channel. Uh, I'm planning to stream as soon as I get back from, because um, I'm currently in a hotel right now. Um, but I'm currently planning to stream when I come back, so please feel free to follow me at ggenesis9876 on Twitch. <laughs> and if you want to have a chance to talk to Genesis directly, he's really active in the Discord servers as well. So uh, hop onto oh, yeah. the, uh, Absolutely. the uh, Adventure Camp Discord server or the official Silly Billy Discord server. You can find mm -hmm. Genesis oh, in yeah. both. I'm active there as well. Yep. Uh, and if you don't want, uh, if you don't feel like joining either, and you want to like ask me a question, feel free to like post a YouTube comment, uh, and I will probably be looking through those and answering questions. Uh, because I love y'all. <laughs> All right, LJ. Uh, where can people find more of you? The same as Genesis. Um, if you just <laughs> go on the Disventure Discord, you type in LJ today. I'm Spider Man. You can say hello to me there. <laughs> Uh, I'm also on Instagram, uh, LJ Aiken. So is Genesis, but I think he said that. If you just Google search LJ Aiken, you will find everything that I'm on. So, <laughs> so, so I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. Man's in a lot of projects. Um, <laughs> theater related as well. Um, shout out to you, uh, your theater career going on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And if subscribe to Silly like Billy. Ooh, yes that's me <laughs> and of course to add one more uh, subscription to that list of people that you already it's it's like a task list at this point <laughs> it's not a request you just have to do it that's a it's exactly, mandatory exactly you want the next episode you best make sure that all the things that have been mentioned so far are checked off by the end of today <laughs> exactly uh, so, you're, so, you're barred from doing it without without <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. barred from seeing the next episode without yeah, it we yeah. are not getting it no no we know we have eyes everywhere <laughs> <laughs> but to cap off your exhausting list of people to subscribe to, please make sure to go check out Odd Nation Cartoons. I'm pretty sure you have at this point. And if you haven't, then go do that first and then come watch these interviews right here. Guys, <laughs> uh, it has been an honor and it has been a pleasure to uh, have this Absolutely. interview with you. Mm -hmm. it's been an honor Absolutely an honor. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Perfect. Thank you so much. This yeah, was, thank you this so was much. amazing. Uh, it was. It was. Oh, it was so fun. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Yep. Bye.